the Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle was the first coin of the $20 denomination and is the largest American coin to ever be struck for circulation. Prior to the creation of the Double Eagle, the highest denomination was the $10 Gold Eagle coin. Since this new denomination contained double the amount of gold as the Gold Eagle, it became known as the Double Eagle. This coin series was created as a direct result of the California Gold Rush in the mid 1800s and is symbolic of America's westward expansion and rise to power. I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about this storied $20 gold series. The Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle was designed by James B. Longacre and was minted from 1850 to 1907. This series origin stems from the California Gold Rush of 1849. Once gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in Northern California, thousands of hopeful prospectors flocked west in hopes of striking it rich. As massive deposits of gold were being mined in and around San Francisco Bay Area, the need to convert raw ore to currency became more and more dire. Not only did the region need more gold coinage, but the extreme abundance of the ore created the need for larger denominations. This was much more efficient for storing the coins in banks. So it was settled. A new $20 gold piece was authorized by President James K. Polk, 11th President of the United States on March 3rd, 1849, and the coin would begin circulation the following year. For the first three years from 1850 to 1853, the Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle was struck only at the Philadelphia and New Orleans mints. But as the gold rush remained in full swing, a brand new branch mint opened in San Francisco in 1854. This made sense because the San Francisco branch allowed for the raw gold to be struck on location and conveniently distributed throughout the region. So starting in 1854, gold double eagles were to be struck at Philadelphia, New Orleans, and San Francisco. Designing the first ever gold double eagle was a task reserved for U.S. Mint Director James B. Longacre. Longacre's double eagle design bore a strong resemblance to the Liberty Head design already being used on the Gold Eagle, the Half Eagle, and the Quarter Eagle. Longacre's Liberty faced left with her hair tied neatly in a bun. She wore a coronet that was inscribed Liberty, stars encircled her portrait, and the date was marked underneath. The coin's reverse, or tail side, displayed a heraldic eagle modeled after the seal of the President of the United States. What was different about this eagle though, is that it held a double ribbon in its talons and the double ribbon alluded to the coin's name, the double eagle. The Liberty Head double eagle underwent some makeovers through its 57 year run. In total, three major types of this coin were produced. The Type 1 variety is the original coin that was struck from the series inception in 1850 until 1866. Type 1 gold double eagles are the rarest of the three varieties as the lowest amount are graded in any condition by the two major grading services. The coin's reverse had a ring of 13 stars to represent our original 13 colonies but it did not include the motto, In God We Trust. In addition, the coin's denomination was inscribed as 20D on the reverse below the eagle. The motto, In God We Trust, did not appear on the coin until it was added to the Type 2 variety 
in 1866. Treasury Secretary Salmon P. Chase thought it would be good for our nation to have a reminder of God amidst the turmoil of the Civil War. The ring of 13 stars was enlarged to encircle the motto. The Type II Liberty Head was struck for only 11 years, from 1866 to 1876. This is the shortest span of any of the three varieties. These coins circulated heavily throughout the country, so mint state survivors are quite rare to find. Lastly, we have the Type III variety. Type III coins arrived in 1877 and saw the series through its retirement in 1907. The difference with this variety is that the denomination 20D was expanded to spell out $20 on the reverse. Throughout its 57-year run, the Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle was struck at five U.S. Mint branches. Philadelphia was the only branch to strike an issue every single year. San Francisco struck issues most years from 1854 on, but there were some gaps when it came to the Type 3s. Still, San Francisco Double Eagles hold such a special place in history because of their roots in the California Gold Rush. Carson City didn't open until 1870, so it never struck any Type 1 Gold Double Eagles. But starting in 1870, they did strike Type 2s consistently, but then the Type 3s came along and they were struck intermittently and they ceased production when they closed their doors in 1893. New Orleans struck Type 1 issues inconsistently because production took a sharp drop when the San Francisco Mint opened in 1854. Then, due to interruptions caused by the Civil War, New Orleans did not strike any Type 2 issues and struck only one Type 3 issue, the 1879-0. Unlike the Philadelphia and San Francisco mints, the Carson City and New Orleans mints struck Liberty Head Gold Eagles in minuscule numbers, making examples with O or CC mint marks rarer than their Philadelphia and San Francisco counterparts. Lastly, Denver struck Liberty Head Gold Eagles upon its opening in 1906 and the following year in 1907. In total, 143 issues of the Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle were released from 1850 to 1907, leaving plenty of collecting options. Type 3 Liberty Head Gold Double Eagles are the most widely collected type because of their availability in mint state condition due to the great European bank hoard. Many of the coins that were struck were shipped overseas to Europe when President Roosevelt issued a gold recall in 1933. The coins resided in European banks untouched for decades. This prevented the coins from acquiring any wear. Type 1 and Type 2 gold Liberty Heads tend to be challenging pieces to collect in all grades. Because of their heavy circulation, Almost all surviving examples succumb to immense wear, which left hardly any coins in mint state condition. As mentioned, government melts played a large role in limiting survivorship among Liberty Head Gold Double Eagles. Following President Roosevelt's recall of gold in 1933, an estimated 39% of all Gold Double Eagles were melted down by the U.S. Treasury. So even though over 100 million Liberty Head Gold Double Eagles were minted from 1850 to 1907, only 1 1.5 million have been graded to date in any condition by the two major grading services. In the whole series, there has never been a coin graded in mint state 70 condition, and rarely do examples survive in gem condition, which is mint state 65 or better. The Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle is a stunning coin series that directly ties numismatics to one of the most important events in our nation's history, the California Gold Rush. Even well over a century after this coin's retirement, 
This coin series is overwhelmingly celebrated by numismatists across the country and around the world, and it certainly will be for centuries to come.